Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with GRC here. So today I just wanna to kinda of give you an FYI update on going live on YouTube that you need a thousand subscribers because I, I don't have a thousand subscribers so I definitely appreciate you guys liking, commenting, subscribing, and uh, you know, kinda of helping this channel grow. I'm trying to give you guys more content anyway. And you can always check out the omgrc.com. Anyway, that's where I'm at with that part of it. Let's get into these cars because that's why you're here anyway. All right, getting into the Creighton, there's a couple little pieces that you're looking at right here. These are for the sway bars, these are on the front. And uh, well, I was tight, trying to adjust these and tighten them down and they split. I just put a little Gorilla Glue, hopefully that'll kind of hold them together and I'll just put it back to stock and hopefully everything will be okay. It is a, the sway bars were a little bit loose, so I was wanting to try to adjust those, but anyway, that's that. They snapped, so, or split. All right, uh, it did topple over once and it did topple over in the grass or what have you. It would be nice if there was a bumper on the front. I will give it that. You know, there should be a bumper on the front. This is a bashing vehicle, needs a bumper. All right, uh, there's nothing here to protect the body, so it's really taking a lot of impact if it does. And that's where this kind of comes into play where it starts to kind of hone itself out more and more on the body. So you can see those holes. You can kind of see them a little bit more on the inside here too. So when you're jumping and crashing and bashing, what you know, what the vehicle is kind of more in its purpose is, uh, you know, there should be a bumper. So that way it kind of protects his body a little bit because his body's not super thick anyhow. So that's that. So it's got some skids, uh, you know, scratches on the top of it, but I had a GoPro mount, well, I have a GoPro mount here. It took it when I tipped over on, on the pavement. So that kind of protects a lot of the body top, which was a good thing. It scratched up the wing a little bit, but I sanded that down and kind of made it a little bit nice again on that one. It did split the body on one of the jumps or one of the multiple jumps I was doing at the time, but it wasn't on video because it didn't record. Um, this thing split right here. So not a big deal, but I mean, that's that. It's a thin, it's kind of a thin body. It's not super thick or anything like that. Like I would like it to be for a basher vehicle. But um, that's that. I did mention about, you know, as far as the bar, I know that this was, I know what it is. It's, you know, for structural, you know, it's a chassis brace, but um, I would, I had never seen it on the previous versions of the Arma vehicles. And of course, that's what I was kind of leading to, but I didn't say it as you would interpret it. So, and you guys were like, yeah, it's a chassis brace, <laughs> like I know. But uh, I just didn't, I'd never seen it on the other Armas. So this is new and I, apparently I was, I was watching another video from JTRC and he was at the shop and they were saying this chassis brace will be available for the previous versions also come, I don't know exactly when, but that was something that they were talking about on a JTRC, his YouTube channel. Just kind of, you know, that's my boy. And uh, you know, I definitely appreciate him anyhow, but he was happy. He left me a little comment, a little smiley face, but I did text him and let him know that I bought an Arma vehicle. Anyway, uh, this thing's got lots of power in it. And just kind of going over as far as here, you guys let me know that this is for the uh, balance plugs, which is cool on that one. And I didn't mention in the video too, this is kind of cool too. So if you have, you know, taller batteries, you can adjust it. Well, my batteries were a little bit taller than this thing can go, but it's still cool because I do have some other batteries that are 3S that will fit in here. So I can raise it up, put them in there and hold it down even better. So that's a nice thing. I've never seen that before. It's a nice touch. Um, other than that, yeah, she's got lots of power. Uh, the servos seem to be pretty good. It's a heavy vehicle and everything like that. But uh, you know, like I said before, these tires are really good as far as handling it. Even at 50 miles an hour, I was really, really impressed with that. So I'm definitely digging that one. I felt very confident in driving it and putting it where you wanted to put it for the most part. So yeah, even if it went 60 miles an hour, I'm very happy. I like 1.8 scale because they're a little bit heavier. They're planted and you don't have to worry about them just flying away, you know, when you're going really fast. So this one's really cool. I definitely, I like it. I, you know what? There's times where I could, I sit up at night and I wish I could sell these things. Hopefully one day that will become true and I can start selling Arma because I think they're a really awesome company. And I think they have awesome prices. And I think, you know, you guys looking for these vehicles, I was like say, you know, Arma, Arma. I think, so I'm gonna get more of them before I really, really, really wanna like try to drive towards that more. But uh, I like them, they're pretty good. I've had quite a few RC vehicles in the last, you've seen it, if you've seen the channel, you know that I've had quite a few different vehicles, so here and there. But this is a pretty cool vehicle. I like the power of it for a 1.8 scale. Definitely screams lots of power in it. So I'm digging that. I just didn't like the remote. You know, and I already know people, other people don't like it. It's a little bit thin in the hand. It feels very uncomfortable when it comes to your, the grip of it. And it's just cheesier, you know, that's what it is. All right, so that's my, that's all I have to say about this one because I have not driven it any more than just once. So I can't give you a lot more on that one. All right, let's go over to the Traxxas vehicle. 
So I did the Traxxas vehicle, why? You know, I didn't say, I didn't really want a brushed system, but I love the body top that's on here. I'm just gonna show you. You know, okay, we got the Arma, that's a 1 8 scale. And we're talking the car here. So there you go. It's a big body. So you're thinking, like in the video, I was like, man, the car looks so small, but it's a pretty big vehicle. So there you go. That way, if you do have one of these, like, wow, okay, lots of pretty decent size, uh, you know, shell that's on there. And definitely it is. All right. Uh, as far as the shell goes, I love the style of it. I love that green. I like that black. I like the. I like black a lot. So anything with black and those colors in there, this vibrant color, I'm digging it. So that's why I bought it. <laughs> that's pretty much why I bought the car. That's. Um, I know there's part support and whatever for Traxxas anyhow. All right. So, but I know this thing's this thing's a, a super slow. It's only went 17 miles an hour. I know someone else had pointed out. You know, if it's for a kid or just an adult, also. You know, when it comes to, you know, getting a vehicle, you're starting out, you don't need anything that's ripping at 60 miles an hour. You want to take your time, un, you know, feel it out. If you're happy with it, then go ahead and you can upgrade it. So this is this is another platform too. This, you know, this goes with other vehicles as well that I sell uh, that you could, you know, upgrade them if you, you know, as far as if you feel like you're more advanced now and you can, you know, up your game and you can, you know, handle those higher speeds and what have you, just have more fun with it anyhow. If you break it, whatever, you know, that's what it's kind of, what it's all about, man. You're going to break stuff and, you know, as long as you're having fun, that's what, whatever puts a smile on your face, right? At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. You don't have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to put a smile on your face. It could be, you know, you don't have to spend much at all and, uh, you know, you can have a good time. So anyway, things that I did to this thing after, as of right now, and I haven't driven it, would be just to put bigger spacers here in the front and in the rear. So that's that on that part of it. And I did that on the back as well. I uh, will say, as far as getting to the motor, it's super easy to get to. One screw here, one screw there, and the motor's out. And that's it. Uh, so I will be putting a brushless system in here. As to what I'm going to put in here, I don't know. I don't know 100%. I might put. I got some ideas, and I don't want. I'm nothing. It's going to be nothing wild. I'm not going to be like, oh, we're going to go 60 miles an hour in the car, nothing like that. No. Uh, at least not now. But I don't really want to scratch the body up. But I want to have a little bit more power, and more punch to this vehicle. Uh, that's that. As far as adjustability and everything like that or out of the box, what did I do with this vehicle? I didn't do anything to it. I mean, I didn't tune it, meaning that I didn't adjust the steering. It seemed like the steering was adjusted by factory. It was all good to go. It, it seemed to track true. Where on the other hand, as far as Arma, I just had to make a quick adjustments on that one and it was good to go. Uh, no fault, you know, whatever. This, if you're in the hobby, you, that's part of what you kind of like to do. Anyhow, you like to tinker, you want to adjust stuff. I know you want to do the upgrades. Some of you guys just want to do upgrades and then you want to go ahead and get rid of it or you just want to keep the car and shelf it as a shelf queen. Me, on the other hand, I just want to get a little bit of speed. I might do upgrades here and there, but I'm still, I'm moving too much that I, it's hard for me. I, I'll probably keep these vehicles for a while because, well, these are vehicles I don't sell. And for me to sell them, I'm going to take a huge loss on these things. More than likely, there's not a big resale. And on Traxxas, I know Traxxas seems to hold some of their, via, their value. Uh, at least on you know on Facebook and everything like that people want way too much for Some beat-up crap. So anyway, if I'm gonna sell it it's gonna be pretty nice anyhow But uh, I'm not gonna sell it anytime soon. These are good vehicles You can definitely do quite a bit to them and you know I want to keep Arma in in the fam as far as the RC family So I'm not getting rid of these things anytime soon These these are gonna be sticking around because they're definitely gonna be fun fun to drive and put a smile on my face So that's that so you'll see other vehicles here on the channel, but really focusing on these guys right now. And I have some other vehicles as well. Anyway, uh, yeah, the tires seem to be pretty good on this thing also. Like they're they're a fairly hard compound, which is good. So if you're doing any kind of, you know, if you want to upgrade it, they're not going to balloon a whole heck of a lot. And also as far as turning, they don't really have a lot of rollover on the tires or much at all. So that's good, but they are hard. So again, you're gonna do more sliding. So I was able to put it like in a kind of a little bit of a drift on that. But anyway, that is it, man. Like I said, 17 miles an hour, yeah, it is what it is. And uh, you know, it's still fun. And you know, I didn't beat it all up. And it was fun to kind of jump off the curb a little bit too. So that that's nice on that part of it. I definitely dig that. And now she's sitting up a little bit higher now. Once I put a battery in there, it'll go down a little bit. But yeah, that's it. So I appreciate you guys always watching. And also, as far as the GoPro, why I had the GoPros here, just kind of let you know like how I had stuff mounted. You know, I had them mounted here so you could get it. I had it flipped around so you can kind of get the back end of it. 
And you know, I'm just rocking the GoPro, the latest one, the Go Go the GoHo, the GoPro Hero Seven. So, and that's the black edition. That's nice. I like it. Uh, it seems to have it has a stabilization that's in there. So even over rocky terrain, it seemed to hold its hold it pretty good. So, and I like the color. It makes things a little bit more real. Where this one, I got on on my iPhone here, it doesn't seem. It's kind of overpowering to it. It looks like it's capturing quite a bit, but anyway, I think the GoPro did a little bit better job on capturing the color. Anyway, appreciate you guys always watching as always. You know, maybe we don't we don't sell these vehicles as of right now on the channel, but I want to definitely let you guys know that I, I'm enjoying these vehicles anyway. I would love to carry both these brands. This would be something I would like to do in the later future, but as of right now, that is not in uh, either one of our plans when it comes to uh, you know requirements to actually sell these vehicles So anyway with that being said Appreciate you guys always watching as always and until next time. This is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care. Thank you for watching